And what I'm telling you, we must continue to donate and save the country of Haiti. I have to shout out a couple of people to my Haitian family in Flatbush, Brooklyn. Big up to y'all, man. Just, just stay focused, man. Everything's going to be all right. To my Facebook family, you know what I mean? Shout out to Hard Hitting Harry, you know what I mean? Shout out to Santa. Shout out to Old Boss, Haitian rapper out in Connecticut, only for brothers and sisters. Shout out to my Haitian homeboy, Deval, DDS Trucking. Shout out to the fashion model, Miss Falong Jean, representing JRG. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody once again, man. Hard hitting Harry, man. It was a blessing to find one of your relatives. Shout out to Santa, one of the hottest female MCs is out right now. My thoughts and prayers go out to you. My thoughts and prayers go out to old boss. I had to put this show together, man. Sop, I say, up, I boulet to my Haitian family out there. You see the flag right here. You know what I mean? You see the flag right here that represents the independence of the country of Haiti, man. You know what I'm saying? To all my Haitian family out there in Flatbush, this is for y'all, man. You know, Haiti was hit very hard. It was hit very hard. And we need to come together as a country and continue to support, continue to uplift Haiti. It's going to be a long time. It's going to be a long time for Haiti to come back together. You know what I mean? So we must stay together. We must continue to uplift Haiti and the people and the culture of Haiti. Once again, Sapa say Abule to my Haitian family out there all over in Flatbush, Brooklyn, and all the boroughs. My name is Terrence T. Bone Mills. Thank y'all once again for tuning in, you know, to It's All Good TV. Continue to support BCAT.TV Network is the heart and soul of Brooklyn. To my Haitian family, to Councilman Eugene Matthew, my thoughts and prayers go out to all the Haitian families that lost a loved one over there in Haiti. I know it, this is just devastation right now. You know what I'm saying? And that country, for that country to be hit so hard throughout the course of its entirety, it's, it's just devastating. I'm talking about hurricanes. I'm talking about slavery earthquakes now you know and don't get me wrong my haitian family my haitian people man they are so strong and so resilient man they still pulling out people from under the rubbles man and you you have to look at you have to look at the culture and the strength of hate of the haiti people man they're they're strong-minded they're willed you know what i mean here's his you can donate to the Doctors for Borders to RedCross.com. Continue to donate. We must rebuild Haiti. Do you understand what I'm saying? We must rebuild Haiti. We must continue to uplift Haiti. We must continue to rebuild Haiti. Put more um, ambulances in Haiti, hospitals in Haiti. We must up build the edu education of facilities in Haiti. Do you understand what I'm telling you? We must continue to uplift Haiti. It's going to be a while before Haiti turns around. But meanwhile, once it turns around, we must continue to donate and build in Haiti. We must concentrate on building in Haiti. So any celebrities or whoever that's watching this all good TV right now, we must continue to uplift and educate Haiti. We, they need more schools in Haiti. They need more jobs in Haiti. They need, they need a government that's not only going to take care of the government, but take care of the people that voted for the government. That's what we need in Haiti. So once we continue to um, uplift Haiti, we must continue to build Haiti and educate Haiti. Put more schools in Haiti. Put more buildings in Haiti. Invest in Haiti. You know what I mean? We must continue to invest in the country of Haiti, man. Because here you, ha here you have a, a culture 
that has been dominating, that's been going through hard times, making $2 a day? Are you kidding me? How do you survive off $2 a day? I just don't understand it. This is why we must continue to uplift and educate the country of Haiti. Do you understand what I'm telling you? And you see there on the screen to donate. Hopeforhaiti.org. There's the phone number that you can call. And I'm I'm just right now, I'm just so devastated, man. You know what I mean? That this could have been the poorest country. And you know what I mean? I don't understand it. And it's right next to the US. I don't understand that. How could the you could live right next to the US and be one of the poorest countries where where, where the people are making two dollars a day? I don't understand this. You know what I'm saying? I just don't understand. And then you have people over here in the United States that's crying because they ain't got rims on their cars. Crying because they ain't got new shoes to wear. And people over here is making $2 a day. And we over here crying. And that's the difference. That's why when, they, when, when the Haitian people come over here, they work hard. They work three, four, five jobs. You know what I'm saying? They'll stay in the household with, with 20 to 25 people at a time. And build and work and save and buy that house, buy our next house, get a business. You know what I mean? And then we over here talking about people are holding us down. You holding your own self down. You got people from other countries coming over here and making it. You know what I'm saying? Because they believe and they work hard. And that's what we need to instill. We need to start believing each other, start hating on each other, and go out there, create, motivate, educate, perspirate. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is what I'm talking. This this is the Haitian people, man. By watching what's going on over in Haiti, it teaches you how to appreciate what you have. It teaches you how to appreciate and work with, with the little that you have. These people make two dollars a day and they making it work for themselves. I mean, what do they what do that tell you? Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? What do that tell you? This is hope for Haiti, man. Hope for Haiti dot org. We must continue to donate and help out the country of Haiti. Do you understand what I'm telling y'all? You have you have people, man. The country of Haiti, man. I have a lot of Haitian friends, man. And you know what? And the first time I met them, they showed me nothing but love, dude. You know what I'm saying? They were just happy just to be over here. And they always talked about their country. The country of Haiti. They always talked about they work over here and send money back to their to they people over in Haiti, man. And, and hopefully one day they can get their people over here so they can live the American dream. You know what I mean? Now it's time for America to step up and help the country of Haiti. Haiti is dying. You know what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong. This was a devastation about, about what happened with the earthquake and everything. But sometimes the Lord works in mysterious ways. The, the Lord does things just to open up people's eyes, just to let them know, what are y'all doing over here? You have a country over here that's dying over here. What are y'all doing to save the country of Haiti? Wycliffe John was, was trying to promote this since he started singing. He said he came from Haiti and, 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 and lived the American dream. And he's been fighting for his country ever since he's been in the music business, the entertainment business, man. He's been trying to tell the world, y'all got to save my country, man. My country is dying. How could y'all be living over here, living so good, and while my country is dying over here? You know? So shout out to Wycliffe, man. If you're watching right now, Wycliffe, you know?